Welcome, Leo Virgo, to your May Astro Dice reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. And for those of you who are new, this is where I take astrology with tarot and make a small horoscope for the month. Okay. This message coming out is the seventh house. Some Virgo energy with Neptune. That Neptune energy going on over here. This is where your fantasies, yearnings, longings, and potentials for illusion come together. This is where we're daydreaming. Trying to manifest. Trying to maybe even make on, uh, mantras with our mind. Right? Instead of speaking it, we're going to daydream it. This is where we're longing for better things within our lives. Maybe fantasizing within the seventh house of this person that I would like to be with. Or the type of person I would love to have. Or, you know, whatever it is that you're daydreaming about. Winning the lottery. <laughs> Who knows, right? My business, I hope my business goes better. Right? <clears throat> okay. And we have... Here we go. Energy coming out. It's going to be... Diligently longing. Wow. Wow. This is something that you, you daydream a lot, right, about, fantasize about, dream about, however. And you're putting in a lot of work. Let's just put it that way for a go. Putting in a lot of hard work in this. Something you probably think about a lot. You could even say that it might be a little obsessive at times for some of you. Excessive, obsessive, because it is something that you definitely want. So it's not just diligent, you know, I mean, you're diligently thinking about it, but it's not something that you're just, oh, I think I'll think about it for a minute and then put it away for a week. No. It's like, I think about it in the morning when I wake up. Wow, I really want that. You know, I say my prayers in the morning, whatever. Take a shower, start daydreaming, driving, daydreaming. Something you really long and want. Something you're really on your mind. It's really hitting your it's really hitting the, the root chakra, the sacral chakra, and definitely the solar plexus with all of your heart's content. This is not, and you probably, you know, intuitively have been creating this through your, I mean, I'm telling you, your chakras are in a row over here. The only thing you're getting into not having is the knowing, right? You haven't, you don't have the crown for it. That's why you're still thinking, right? And your intuition might be open a little bit to the situation, but it's not knowing if this is coming, right? Because you're still creating through the thoughts. Might even be saying it out loud in the car. <laughs> I'm going straight into the seventh house. This is the area of your life that's long-term significant partners, romance, business, or family. I would love to have a baby. Can me and my husband, me and my spouse, you know, have this connection? have this baby. I want to have a baby. I want to have a family. I want this puppy that we're going to call our baby. I want this kind of puppy. Family doesn't always have to be children. It could be your cats, your dogs, whatever you think is family, right? Everybody's story is a little different. <clears throat> Maybe you want a house for your family. I want to buy a house, put my family in. So, I want to run a business or I want my business to boom. I want to find someone to be romantic with. I want a partner or I want our partner to be more connected. However, whatever the situation is, there's a billion out there. I'm not going to name them all. You know what your situation is and you know when it comes to the seventh house, what you daydream. Okay, guys, getting straight into the situation. Situations taking place in the beginning of the month, middle of the month and end of the month. What are we doing? Dreaming. <laughs> Accelerated motion. I wished upon the moon. You could have literally done this during that full moon. Wished upon that full moon. Wished upon the lunar eclipse. Shit, you might even wished upon the solar eclipse. The moon, the new moon last month. Full moon last month. All these things, right? Waiting for your wish, right, to come true. 
putting in all the extra longings, all the extra intentions, and keeping diligently focused on this wish, on this dream, on the Neptune. Kind of crazy. It almost kind of looks the same in some ways. You see this star here kind of shining down? It almost looks the same as this comet going across the sky or falling star, whatever it is. But it almost looks exactly the same, but that's exactly what you're doing. Eight of Wands. Wanting my victory. Wanting my success. Manifesting with the eight. That's dreaming. Praying. Waiting for it to come into reality. I dream it and want it to come into reality. Underneath a Virgo. Virgo, please. New beginnings. Diligently working towards this new beginning of having this dream come to reality. Waiting for it. Feeling like it's coming. Wanting it. Needing it. The Fool card. Taking a risk towards it. Might even be some things that you had to even take risks towards doing it, right? I even did some leap of faith towards this dream. I invested extra time into my business, extra money into my business, extra time into my family. Partners, romance, whatever it is. But investing a lot of time and even taking some risks in the beginning of the month. Because I don't... This is not a person that said, I'm making this new beginning and I'm going to sit still. She's got a walking stick. That means she's going places. Taking that action. For love. For the passions and the things I love. This new beginning. This new connection. Putting my heart and soul into the situation. These dreams that you're dreaming are not just some fly-by-night thing. This is something you've probably been dreaming about a lot. But the thing that I love about this is it's saying the chariot is on its way. Like I said, you can probably feel that the energy is getting a little closer. Something's about to pop. Let's see what's going on over here in the accelerated motion. Absolutely keeping it secret. Oh, I love it. I actually love that. I love it. Good job, guys. Good job. And those of you who watch my channel a lot, I tell you all the time, keep your manifestations, your wishes, your dreams, all your things secret. Right? That's your hidden agenda. That's for you. It's not for the world. I always say when you wish upon a star, and we've heard it our whole life, when you wish upon a star, you don't tell anybody your dream. We you blow out those birthday candles, you know, don't let anybody know what you wish for. That's your wish. So that way they won't tell you, you get a pony. Shh. Parents are never going to let you have a pony. Okay, you know what? Maybe in five years from now, maybe you got that pony. Maybe you moved and you got a pony. You don't know. Don't know what's in store. This is because other people want to be selfish against your dreams. Or bring in shallowness towards your dreams. Right? Try to keep you disconnected. Make you feel like, oh God, you'll never get that. You know? It's not like I asked for a unicorn. Right? So I love that you're keeping that hidden. That keeps you from getting hurt. It, and not even so much you so much. And sometimes it does, though, hurt. It's like, wow, you don't have any faith in me that my job is going to actually do good and that I am worth a promotion? Wow. Kind of hurts your feelings, right? Or you're really down on my business that much. Your business is never going to thrive like that. I'm so sorry. You up into store? The 20 people you get now is the only 20 people that's ever going to come. I don't know what you're manifesting. Huh? I mean, what a horrible thing to say to people. People can be very harmful, very hurtful. And this keeps you away from harm and hurt and also harming and hurting your dream. So not only not harming yourself, but the dream and the manifestation itself. Because then it lowers as soon as you get hurt or they bring these things in like, you'll never have that. You get that in your head. 
then you want to start thinking about it with your ego mind. Then what happens to your dreams? Oh, you're right. I'll never have that. Wait, what? So keep going strong, guys, and never tell people your dreams, okay? Unless it's somebody like your, your husband where you guys really want to have a baby and you can manifest together. You know what I'm saying? There's certain people you have to know who to trust. Be sure you really know that, too, because you have your Nine of Cups coming in, my friends. And I already said that. You can feel the pull of the Nine of Cups coming. You can feel the pull of the wish. Just within the reading, I can feel the energy of that coming to fruition. Okay, and on the spiritual union, you have ambition. So really driving and driving the driving force to succeed in this area. I know what I want. I know what I want to love. I'm passionate about doing so. So you're really going to really be taking on this Knight of Swords. Or you could definitely have this Knight of Swords as a partner who could be a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. This is my Libra card. Who is rushing into you when you have the Nine of Swords. So if you know that you're dealing with one of those signs, it doesn't have to be. It could even be a Pisces or a Cancer. It could be anybody. Uh, but it just feels like as your ambition is driving, this person could be driving right at you. Wow. But it's also showing that you're in fast thinking mode, right? So I love that. Not letting anything get in the way. Well, that's that Virgo coming in, though. I said you're a diligent force to be, to be dealt with over here. In the middle of the month, you have partnerships and alliance. I'm telling you, that person's coming towards you if you're looking for love. Fertility. Some of you are pregnant. And you wanting to be pregnant, and you're going to find out you are pregnant. <clears throat> For those of you, if you don't want a baby, you're very fertile in the mid-month, so please be careful this month. Venus loves to be fertile. So, you know, be sure that you're protecting yourself. Um, but with the partnerships and alliances over here, it's showing the, oh yeah, the fool. I got the fool twice with the new beginnings. It's saying you have this spontaneous new uh, trust in life. Also, when it comes to partnerships and alliances, the alliances could be within the work. It could be at work with the business. You know, take it however it resonates with you. But they're definitely showing more opportunities and that it's showing you want to take this leap of faith. Right now is a great time. And not only at the beginning of the month to make great leaps of faith, but also in the middle of the month too. Great time to really start taking risks of the leap of faith towards your dreams. With the fertility, you have the overall abundance and your heart chakra is open because it's also a part of that spiritual union you have within yourself of this is what I'm compassionate about, this is what I love, and this is what I want. And you know what you want. You're yearning and longing for it. As you see the abundance start coming towards you, yes, you get the Ten of Pentacles. This is where the wealth and the financial securities come through with the business. Long-term success, contribution, and this is where the family starts really coming together. Like I said, some of you are going to find out you're pregnant. You've got a little bundle of joy in there, and that's what you've been manifesting to do so for a lot of you. And with the passions ignited is the sun and a family card against us. Somebody is definitely pregnant. Because I got the fertility card, which is the inference. Plus the ten, plus the ten of pentacles over here. That's the sun card, which is a family card. And we're talking about family as well. So with your hearts ignited over here, you're going to find that the new beginnings for somebody, it's going to be the new beginnings finding out that I'm pregnant and it's going to make me so happy. We're going to be the happiest family on the planet because my husband and I really wanted this. <laughs> right? So this is the overall blessing from the universe. Uh, for others of you, you're going to feel like this is a huge celebration of happiness as you're Business is thriving. Your dream is coming in no matter what. Let's just put it that way. If you found that new love romantic partner or you and your partner reconciled or whatever is going on within your situation, my friends, okay, it is definitely a time of pleasure and happiness as you find the rainbow blessing within the sun. The end of the month, wow, this is wonderful. You're, you're in the waiting game for a minute. So everything's going to kind of slow down for just a second. Okay, so you're going to find a pause. You just got all of this going on and it's almost like now the universe is like, pause. Just continue to worry about the sun for a minute and your passion's ignited with the ace of wands. 
okay? Enjoy your Ten of Pentacles for a minute and you're, you're in Imperance mode. Everybody needs to pause. There's a pause. This is where you're going to feel like you're building into an emperor. If those of you who just found love, we have the Imperance and the Emperor. You found soulmate. There could be a pause within this love area that you just found this person. But it does feel like no matter what, it's taking the leadership, feeling like you're in leadership mode, reorganizing. Remember, you just got your dream come in. Even if it's not 100% in all the way, it's in enough to where you need to pause, rethink, restabilize yourself, put yourself into emperor mode, and say, this is where I have to be the boss in boss mode. Right? Because I'm still manifesting. <sighs> wow. Okay. Yeah. That's okay because you have the Ace of Cups coming in underneath it. You're saying, I'm still manifesting for my Ace of Cups. I've got to get this all worked out. Look, you just found new love, new romance. However it is, there might be other things that are going on to this. Maybe now you just found out you had a new baby, but you only live in a one-bedroom apartment. So now you can say, I have to manifest now. Everybody put on pause. I have to get into leadership mode over here because I have to now think of what I'm going to do for this new baby. Right? I need to save money. I need to save money to, you know, for the baby. I need to save money to maybe get out of this one bedroom apartment so that we can get a two bedroom house, apartment, whatever. You see what I'm saying? Um, so there's going to be things you're going to have to think about, but it's definitely going to put you in boss mode over here. No matter what the situation is, it's definitely, you know, put you in that. Yeah. Pause and surrender. Put you in hangman mode because you have a new perspective. You know that there might be things you have to let go of, right? So if you just found out, for instance, and I know those of you who are not pregnant, you know, it's kind of, you know, I'll get to the other ones as well. But really, we just really, what it is, really. And I think the pregnant one is really a good one, though, guys. Letting go. Bad habits. Things that don't serve you while you're pregnant, right? The same thing with new love. If you know you have this, you've been manifesting this new love, new love, new love, but this ex keeps trying to hold tight to you. You're really going to have to snap back and say, you know what? I found new love. I don't want you around. Stop texting me. I blocked you. Just because I blocked you doesn't mean that you get to come to my house and knock on my door. Or ask my friends how I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? You're going to get in boss mode and make them understand. We're nothing. I found new love. And this is where you're going to really get diligent about the situation. Diligent in the Virgo. Really standing your ground. Deep insight and sacrifice. Because there is a change. You need to release certain things from your life. And you know it. So a lot of times we daydream about the things that we want and we manifest things. But then we have to understand what were certain things and certain keys that I didn't think about when I was manifesting. That's where the pause and surrender is. This is where you have to go inside and do the, you know, kind of hermit mode. To understand, okay, wait a minute. So this actually came together. But I can't have Joey over here keep coming to my house, knocking on my door, when I just got Bill over here, who I'm like, dang, Bill, I love you. You know what I mean? I need to make sure that he understands he needs to go away, right? Something. Do you understand what I'm saying? So no matter what we do when we manifest, when we daydream and do things, sometimes we forget the little details. Isn't that the truth, though, guys? We forget the little details. That's all it's making you do is go back in for the intentions of understanding, I need the overall Ace of Cups. So the only way I can have the overall Ace of Cups is to make sure that I'm viewing things from a different point of view since this awesome thing happened. But I have to remember to clean out my closet. Right? I just got a whole new wardrobe. I can't be putting the whole new wardrobe in with old clothes. It's not going to be enough room. So this is where you have this sudden change in thought and say, oh my gosh. Right? You know, if I'm having a baby, then these people can't be smoking in the house. Right? You got to cut that out right away. Um, I really don't know anybody that smokes in the house anymore. This is an 80 thing, but, you know, just... Follow with me. <laughs> Just follow with me. <laughs> but uh, you know what I'm saying? Like we can't have ashtrays in the house with a baby. You know, give them asthma. It's bad, right? 
So we have to cut that out. Um, just those little things, right? And we redo. We you're gonna you're going to be thinking about these things. How is things going to change, right? And some of them might be painstaking error, right? But you're going to discriminate a lot. That's where the discriminating is really going to come in, right? That's where the discriminating is really going to play a part. And you are, you're going to be looking at things from a huge different point of view because you have such a beautiful change and shift with the sun over here and this whole new rebirth that you know that no matter how to be successful, it's going to be. Let's say that you run a restaurant and you know I had this sh huge sh uh, shift and change and all these beautiful things happened, but I've got this one person over here. Maybe I have a, a sous chef who's always late. You know, and the other chef's been coming in, busting his butt to take over his job. You know, to stay successful and to keep going and, and really wanting to build and be even better than we are today, because, you know, we could be better, we can always be better. I'm going to have to fire that sous chef and, you know, you're just going to, that's it. We're doing awesome over here, but he's really working my regular chef, you know, to the, to the bone because he's not doing his job. I need to let him go and hire someone else. You see what I'm saying? So it's going to definitely be some preparations and some, oh, absolutely. Because it's going to bring in the Ace of Wands. This is where they, the new project is going to bring in inspiration, the urge to create and create more for the new beginnings and the growth. Absolutely. And it's going to be, it's good because it's going to want you to want to thrive. You didn't do all this manifesting to have all these beautiful things come in to not want to build on it, right? So that's what it's doing. And you have victory and success. Wow, I love it. With the lovers. It's definitely bringing you into the area of your life where you feel you have love. And yes, Page of Swords, you're definitely getting new ideas, getting curious, having the thirst for knowledge of the things that you really need. Having new ways of communicating, new ways of seeing things. That's exactly what it is. You're saying, we're going to thrive. We're going to do it this way. Right? However it's going to be. What a beautiful, blessed reading, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.